Hi friends, my name is Max Pulley. I am a white individual with currently with pink hair. I have on a flower crown. I also have on a black arts access t-shirt. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make your pinwheels from your take and make kits that you got uh, at the Marbles event. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start first by going through what's in your bag. So let's pull out the things that you have. Inside your bag, you should find a already folded pinwheel, a bag of goodies that's gonna contain some crayons, a pipe cleaner, some stickers, and two little round cutouts. You're also going to have a straw. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to actually show you how to start this project from the very beginning, just in case you at home want to make more than what's in your bag. So to start with, to start your project, what you're gonna need is you're going to need a five by five square sheet of paper. So you may wanna get an adult who's really good at cutting to help you with this. So you will need some scissors if you're starting at this point. And once you have your five by five square, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by folding it. So we're gonna take one side and we're gonna fold it to make a triangle. So we're gonna fold it in half. All right, so now that we have a large triangle, we're gonna fold it again in half to make a smaller triangle. All right, so now you have a smaller triangle there. At this point, if you're starting from the very beginning, you're going to need a set of hole punchers. So you're gonna actually hole punch the point on your triangle. Just a tiny bit, just a little tip. And then you're gonna open up your triangle back to the square. This will leave a hole in the middle and then you'll also see four lines throughout your square going out to the points. So on each of these lines, you're gonna cut, don't cut all the way to the center, cut about halfway. So that's what we're doing now. We're just going around and cutting. And now at this point, you're gonna take your hole punch again. And you can start at whichever triangle you want to, but you're gonna to go to the right-hand corner. Don't go out too terribly far because you don't want it to get too thin there. But go right there, right at the tip and make a punch. We'll go to the next one and do the same thing. But you wanna skip one of the triangles, one of the tips here in between you're going to end up folding these. And if your hole punch does like mine and kind of leaves little tags behind, just pull them off. So you'll end up having four little holes there. Now at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take our spots that have the holes and we're going to fold those into the middle. And then you're gonna press down. See, we took it, folded it into the middle so that it lines up with that center circle. And you're gonna do that for each one. Slowly go around and fold. So at this point, you have your base, you have your pinwheel. So this is the point at which you have in your little bag that you took home from us. You have your little pinwheel in your bag, just like this. That part of the work has already been done for you. So this is just if you wanna make some more at home. All right, so at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little pinwheel, we're gonna take our straw, 
And if you don't have any more straws at home, you can always use a regular straw. You're gonna take your pipe cleaner, our pipe cleaner here. I cut the pipe cleaners a little long, so we have a little extra to work with, but they're about five inches or so. And what I'm gonna start by doing is I'm gonna then take, we had two little circles in our bag and I gave everybody a red and a blue so you could decide what you wanted to do with it there. I kind of like the idea of the red on the front of my blue pinwheel. So I'm gonna put the blue in the back. So I'm gonna take the blue, stick it on the back just like that. And then I'm gonna stick my pipe cleaner through. Okay, then I'm gonna put the red circle on the front just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my straw going to go up, not all the way to the top, maybe about an inch from the top. And I'm going to start twirling my pipe cleaner around the straw. That's good and tight. And then on the front of my pinwheel, and then this is where you can kind of decide if you need to cut it or if you just want to use up the extra space. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to twirl it just a little bit tighter on the back side. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bend this piece. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to bend it over to the side and then bend it back again so it's kind of flat like that. But remember, you got to give it enough space so it'll be able to spin. So we can go ahead and kind of test it now. So you can kind of fiddle with it if you need to. Make sure that it's got space and then it should be able to spin. But there you go. And the only other thing you would need if you were making this from the very beginning instead of doing it out of your kit is you would want to make some little circles for yourself. And the way I did this to help me make circles was I just took some kind of little container. This particularly just happens to be out of a, a drawer at home. And I put it down and traced around it so that I made a nice clean circle there for myself. And of course, before you put your pinwheel on your straw, you're welcome to decorate it, color it, put stickers on it, do whatever you would like. And that's my pinwheel.